Welcome to another video of our integration series. In our last video, we saw how we create a custom GET API in ServiceNow. In today's video, we'll be looking into how to create a POST API where the client will be posting some data, incident data, and ServiceNow will be inserting that data in incident table. So let's get started. I'll go into system web services and scripted rest apis so i'll use my last created api incident operations and i'll create a new resource with HTTP method as POST. I will give it some name like create incident. I'll set the HTTP method as POST. Now I'll write script so in request client would be sending us all the data like short description caller id urgency impact and these things and we'll be creating a new record in service now incident table using this script so i'll write a try block for error handling purposes I'll create a body variable and I'll store the request body inside this body variable. Now I will check. I'll apply a check if short description or caller ID is not there then I will simply set the response status as 400 that is there is some missing fields in the request and I will return an error as the response After this, I'll query my incident table. And I will initialize this. Then from the request body that we have received, I'll fetch the short description field and set it in the incident short description. Similarly, I'll do with caller ID. And with urgency as well, urgency and impact.
after that i will insert that record in the incident table and it will return me the sys id of the newly created incident and i'll store that sys id in a new variable known as incident sys id now i will check if the incident sys id is empty then i will throw an error as 500 and a message as well failed to create incident else if everything is right I will return a success message where I will post a message like incident created also I will send the sys id of the new newly created incident additionally I will also send the number of the newly created incident After this, I will write a catch block which will catch the exception if there are any. And I'll again set the status as 500. And I'll return an error message. that the exception gives us I'll format this code now I'll save it Now let's see and test it using REST API Explorer. You can see in the REST API Explorer I have my endpoint. I also have my HTTP URL. Oh I missed one thing I did not give the relative path so I'll do that. I'll save this record again. Now we have our base path as well as our relative path. And the call we are doing is the post call. Now in the request body here, we will send different fields as the request. 
so the first one is short description we'll give some value like test incident created by rest call apart from short description we have caller id urgency and impact caller id will give urgency i'll give and impact i'll give let me open some incident let me take david miller's id Let me add impact and urgency field as well to this table. Let me copy this callers sys id and paste it here urgency let's say i take two media now it will automatically create a json for you as you are try as you try to add more fields from here it will automatically create the json for you you can also pass uh, the request body using this raw tab where you can directly write your json directly or you can use this builder like this now let me try to send a call i have received a 200 okay and it does give me a result that incident is created successfully it has also passed me the sys id of the created incident and the incident number let me check in the incident table if the incident is created or not with this number. Right now there are 67 records. Let me refresh it. Here yeah, there are 68 records now. And this is the newly created record. Let me open it. The short description test incident created by rest call. The caller is set as David Miller. and state as new by impact is three low and urgency is two medium so this way you can create an incident through a rest api call hope you like this video we'll be coming up with more exciting videos like this where we will be implementing more complex use cases so stay tuned to the series thank you